antagonist, a role that is critical in shaping the narratives and influencing audience perceptions. Whether it's anime, movies, literature, or television series, the portrayal of antagonists varies across different forms of entertainment. In some cases, they may be driven by personal vendettas or tragic pasts, while in others, they might embody pure evil or societal conflicts. Meru M, the antagonist of the Chimera Antark from Hunter x Hunter, is far from unique. He goes through a transformation, from being cruel and immoral to someone who develops empathy and begins to embrace his humane, rather than animalistic traits. This kind of change is common in fiction. So why am I saying that Hunter x Hunter mastered the art of the antagonist? That's because Meru M's depth and appeal does not lie in the kind of transition he goes through. It's how he undergoes it. In other words, Meru M is arguably the pinnacle of this kind of transition. A golden standard for how a work can change a character to give that character more nuance, while highlighting the themes and motifs, and possibly mirroring the similar development of some of the other characters, like Gon and Netero. Even before Meru M's physical existence, in the episodes leading up to his birth, Togashi skillfully laid the groundwork for an ominous atmosphere that permeates the Chimera Ant arc. The anticipation build as the narrative hints that humanity is about to face its formidable adversary. The suspense surrounding Meru M's arrival is not just a precursor to a powerful antagonist, but a narrative device that heightens the stakes and intensifies the themes at play. A similar trope is used by another legendary mangaka, known for his thrilling and unpredictable ways of storytelling. Naoki Urasawa also uses suspense as a central element to heighten the stakes of the narrative in his works. Particularly in Monster, Urasawa showcases mastery of setting the tone for darkness. Johann Liebert, the enigmatic antagonist in Monster, is shrouded in a dark aura long before his physical presence is fully revealed. In a similar way, in Pluto, before the true nature of Pluto is unveiled, the story lingers in an atmosphere of approaching catastrophe. This technique enhances the emotional impact of the narrative, making the revelation of the antagonist's true nature all the more impactful. Meru M's birth into the world is marked by tragedy, claiming the life of his mother and establishing him as a heartless tyrant, driven by a desire for dominance. Meru M, at first, doesn't stray from this one-dimensional characterization of a ruthless tyrant, who puts power above all else, setting the stage for a nuanced exploration. That challenges the conventional dichotomy of good and evil in storytelling later. In these early episodes, Meru M's philosophy is uncompromising, the strong survive, and the weak perish. His respect for strength, particularly evident in his regard for the royal guards, solidifies his image as an unrelenting tyrant. At this point, Togashi does a good job of characterizing Meru M in this one-dimensional way. But Meru M isn't anything special. The first set of subtle glimpses of changes are Meru M's encounters with Kamugi, the world's best Gungi player. Kamugi turns out to be an obstacle that Meru M cannot overcome. Imagine being outclassed by one of the weakest creatures in existence, even though you believe it is your natural birthright to be the strongest being in existence. Interactions between Meru M and Kamugi, particularly the moment he chooses to save her, despite his initial intention to kill, reveal a complexity in Meru M's character. Kamugi becomes a mirror, reflecting the potential for compassion within Meru M. To Kamugi, he is the nicest person she has ever met. Meru M realizes Kamugi's significance is greater than that of an obstacle to him, and perhaps the moment when he starts a transition into his human nature. Meru M's change transcends the entire Chimera Ant arc. We see opposing ideals at work throughout the palace invasion arc. Humans displaying the worst aspects of animalism, and animals displaying the best aspects of humanity. Meru M undergoes an existential crisis that eventually comes to an end when the palace invasion arc starts and Kamugi is injured. Meru M takes his stance after many episodes of thoughtful questioning. He decides to protect Kamugi, one of the weak, but as it stands, he is not quite human yet. It could be argued that his original philosophy has only been altered rather than completely eradicated. He still believes absolute strength exists, only that it can come in different forms. He thinks that although most people are capable of great evil, some people are also capable of good. Here we can observe that Togashi is crafting Meru M's character skillfully, but in a way that seems very natural. The narrative weaves parallel paths between Meru M, Gon, and Netero. Meru M as an antagonist goes beyond his personal growth, influencing the trajectories of other key characters. Gon, initially portrayed as a bright and optimistic character, 
undergoes his own descent into darkness upon learning about Kite's death. Gone was a simple, naive boy full of hope at the start of Hunter x Hunter, but there was always the possibility of sadism within him. He possessed brute force, but he was unaware of the extent to which it could cause harm to others. He was self-centered. Although he hates murderers and people who cause harm to others, he considers Kilua his best friend, who killed countless people prior to meeting Gon. While Gon could be seen as a bright, hopeful boy, perhaps even the epitome of humanity's best qualities, he also had the potential to be something worse, as we all do. It makes the downfall of Gon more natural, and counter to Meru M's upward progression. Netero recognizes Meru M's internal conflict, and he too is initially hesitant to kill the so-called Tyrant Ant King. Tagashi carefully crafts Meru M in such a way that each and every thought of his seems to be a gradual change towards his path to morality, rather than a drastic jump from immoral to moral. When the end fight does begin, Netero, a human, shows aggression. It was an incredible role reversal by Togashi. Netero uses the Guanyin Bodhisattva, the ultimate Nen incarnation of mercy and forgiveness, to destroy Meru M. Whereas Meru M emerges as the true Buddha figure, attempting to show mercy and understanding. I remember Netero's final words before the conclusion of the fierce battle. Meru M, King of Ants, you understand nothing of humanity's infinite potential for evolution. When Netero activates the miniature rose, instead of the word evolution, we perceive it as a destruction. One thing I admire about Hunter x Hunter and Togashi is that humanity's future is not left in the hands of children, like most of the other shonens out there. It is a serious concern that is assigned to more experienced and capable individuals. Meru M survives the bomb, but he has no memories of it. We talked about the remote possibility of him reverting back to his former self earlier, and now it has been realized. Meru M is a tyrant once more, his character forgotten. Humanity has failed, not only in Netero's failures, nor in Gon's descent into beasthood, but also in Meru M's human side, succumbing to the animal. But at the end of the Chimera Ant arc, Meru M's sense of power does not prevail, nor do his feelings about the strong and the weak. What prevails is his humanity, and the concern he has for another human being. We get the witness the meaning of when a blind girl taught God to see. Meru M never beats Kamugi in his life, but he dies alongside her. He accepts his death. Furthermore, the Chimera Ant arc does not use Meru M to conclude on a depressing note about humanity being something evil. The most unforgiving, ruthless tyrant in all of Hunter x Hunter was actually saved by humanity, or more specifically, the qualities of humanity. Meru M's transition from animal to man may not be the most profound or novel in fiction. However, character development extends beyond the type of transition a character goes through. Good development stems from how the character goes through said transition. And I believe Meru M achieves a gold standard in this type of character development. Meru M is more than just a character. He is an instrument through which Hunter x Hunter portrays themes and motifs in ways that have never been explored before, in ways that we as viewers have never considered such themes. There are beautiful parallels between characters, storylines, and human and animal nature that can only be made beautiful and unique by Meru M's presence. With this, I would like to conclude this video essay on Meru M. Let me know in the comment section about your thoughts on Meru M's character development. See you in the next one. Until then, keep watching and subscribe to my channel.